Color correction is key, it is super important and that is why in this video we're going to learn how to color correct using Adobe Rush on our phone or our iPad. Now I'll be showing how to do this on my iPhone but it works the exact same way on an Android phone and on an iPad. So let's just dive right in. So this is the clip that we're going to be working on. I shot this with my iPhone and as you can see the temperature is way too warm and it's a little bit underexposed. So we're going to learn how to fix that in Adobe Rush. The first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that our clip is selected so tap on the clip that you want to color correct and then down in the menu tap on color. Now as you can see there's quite some sliders that we can use to color correct our video but before we do any of that let's just go through the sliders and learn what each of them mean. So the first slider is the intensity slider but the intensity slider is not relevant for us because it's actually related to the presets and if you're going to use presets we're more talking about color grading and not color correcting. So the first slider that we're going to look at is the exposure slider. The exposure slider is exactly what you think it is. This is where you can change the exposure or the brightness of your video. So in this case the video is underexposed so we can use the exposure slider to correct the exposure. The second slider is the contrast slider and I think we're all familiar with contrast. It basically means that when you up the contrast you'll see a bigger contrast between the shadows and the highlights. And that actually brings me to the next slider which is the highlights. The highlights are just the bright parts of your video so instead of upping the exposure of your entire clip you can choose to only change the exposure of the bright spot. So if you want to do that, you would have to use the highlight slider. And then on the other side is the shadow slider. So this represents the dark spots in your clip. So again, instead of upping or lowering the entire exposure of your clip, you can decide to lift the highlights a little bit to make those darker spots a little bit brighter or vice versa. The next slider is temp and temp stands for temperature, which literally means that it stands for coolness and warmness. If you want to change the temperature of your video, for example, if it looks too cool or too warm, you can use this slider to correct that. Now the next one is tint and this is basically green to magenta so if your video looks a little bit too green you can add a little bit of magenta and vice versa. Before I show you exactly how to color correct this clip there is two sliders left the vibrance and the saturation. I just held up my middle finger didn't I? Oh my gosh. A lot of people don't know the difference between the two and I didn't know that either in the beginning but basically what it means is that when you up the saturation you intensify all the colors in your video whereas when you use the vibrance you will only intensify the colors that are more muted in your clip. There's a few more sliders left like faded film and vignetting but we're not going to go over that because that is not important for color correcting. That is more sliders that you can use for stylizing your clip. All right it's time to color correct so let's just start with the first slider the exposure slider because as we can see when we look at this clip it is way too underexposed. So I'm just going to slide it to the right to add some exposure and as I'm doing this I think it looks pretty good but I also feel like the dark parts do look a little bit too dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to lift the shadow a little bit. Now when we do this as you can see we're losing a little bit of the contrast but to me this is not a problem at all. So now the next thing that we need to do is we need to get rid of this horrible warmth cast yellow cast whatever you want to call it so we're going to move over to the temperature slider as i'm moving the temperature to the left to the cool side i can see that it still it looks it still looks terrible and that is because there's a little bit of green going on in this video as well so let's just move over to the tint and slide it a little bit to the magenta now if at any point you want to see the before and the after to see what kind of adjustments you've made you can go all the way to the back of the menu and then you can click on on and off honestly <laughs> this adjustment it already makes a world of difference like it's just it's just ridiculous what it used to look like and how good it looks right now now what we can do next is we can add a little bit of vibrance and a little bit of saturation because I do want the colors to pop a little bit more so I'm going to go back to vibrance and I'm just going to play around with the settings right here there's no set numbers honestly just use this entire video as a guide for your own videos and then I go to saturation and I play with the numbers again until I'm happy with the result but now you may have noticed that we have just color corrected one clip not all of the clips so do we now have to go back and do this manually for every single clip no don't worry we do not need to do that all we need to do is go back to the end of the menu and then tap on apply to all now it will be applied to all clips but maybe you're like Leela that's great but I don't want this to be applied to all of the clips I want this to be applied to a selection of clips well there is a little trick that I want to show you there at the end of the menu you will notice three little buttons that says options if we tap on that we can tap on create preset. Now give your preset 
set a name and then tap on save and then go all the way to the front of the menu and there you'll find your custom preset. So now you can just tap on the clip that you want to color correct and you can apply that preset. It's super easy, super useful and I highly recommend you to do this so you don't waste time and your clips just don't really match at all. Now if you want to learn how to use Adobe Rush I made a video where I share with you everything you need to know in order to start editing your videos in Adobe Rush so make sure to click right here and if you want to make your smartphone videos look more cinematic you can click right here and of course make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and then watch either of these videos.